Hi, DJ Tommy J here again with an updated video uh, about charging and rejuvenating Toyota Prius batteries with hobby chargers. Previously, I had submitted a video to YouTube that uh, included using those B6 chargers that you see in the corner. Um, I am no longer using those for two reasons. Number one, they have a very low discharge rate, one amp. Uh, number two, their nickel metal hydride uh, Delta V is not functioning. So you can overcharge or undercharge your batteries at will and you could possibly ruin uh, these batteries and they're not real cheap so uh, a guy named Steve on the Prius chat forums recommended going with the Turnigy reactors which you'll see there those are the 300 watt 20 amp I also have two of the 250 watt 10 amp the functions are pretty much identical uh, I got those cheaper off eBay like $43 these I got from Hobby King. Um, I also picked up from Hobby King uh, one of their quad quattro chargers, and uh, its Delta V does work properly, unlike the uh, B6 I showed you previously. So this pack that you see over here is from a 2006 Prius uh, with a little over 200,000 miles. Um, this pack here is one I purchased off Craigslist I uh, went and picked it up for a few hundred bucks and um, so I'm going through trying to find the best modules that I can to put back in the 2006 now to make it easier on yourself you go through and you see how I've numbered each one of these cells and also if you look very closely on this pack you'll see I also put red dots along the sides of the module so I wouldn't get the polarity wrong. This side is also mar marked. Um, the last two modules you see here that are not marked are bad. Uh, those are coming out so they're just there to uh, uh, as filler because you never ever ever charge these batteries without the compression on. Those bars that you see right here and the two end plates keep these batteries from swelling which if you look at number 21 right now it's actually at uh, its peak charge and you see how fat it is compared to the other modules so you have to be very careful uh, matter of fact let's go over here and we'll look at the charger for number 21 which is uh, going to be difficult to see and see how I can change the light here um, well may have to just read that off to you um, I have a better idea. We'll turn the light away. Now, okay, so this reactor charger, if, well, there it goes, is currently charging at 2.7 amps. The peak voltage is currently 9.12, and it has charged 6.2 amps and still going, and it's taken it 2 hours and 13 minutes to do this particular cycle. Now, previously on battery 21, and, and before I pull away here, that uh, that charger is currently set to um, charge at 3 amps max, discharge at 2 amps, and uh, uh, discharge to 6.3 volts. Now, a lot of people on Prius Chat are recommending to discharge to 6.0. I only do that to uh, modules that really, really are not responding to a, a 6.3 discharge. I don't like taking them down that low. I, it seems to me that's a little too hard on uh, you know modules that are 10 years old. These individual cells are, are you take a chance of getting that reversal going on and, and it's really not something you want to do. So let's take a look at battery number 21, if it's a focus. Okay, so battery 21, when I first charged it, it took 1834 discharge, it took 6245 milliamp hours to charge it. As I continue to charge and discharge it, 4072 to 7110, 
4825, 63.98. And it dropped again. Um, usually what happens here is you, you hit it too much at one time. So you see it dropped down its discharge capacity was 3393 with a charge of 6574. And as I continue to go on, after multiple times, I finally got it up to 5.8, almost 5.9 amps uh, with 7.7 .7 to charge. 7.7 .7 is normally where I, I cut off. I actually prefer 7.5. Um, but if for some reason, like you see these other modules here on the end, 23 and 24, uh, it took 7,700, as a matter of fact, 7,800 to actually charge it back up to its delta peak. So uh, we currently, uh, as I mentioned, on the charge side, if we if we look back at number 21, we go all the way to the end of the line. It was 5,897, was 78, uh, 7,700 uh, for its charge rate or, or charge current how much it actually charge capacity I'll get it right here in a second and it is still ginning at 6345 and 9.12 volts at 2.5 amp so this battery is actually swelling uh, like I said 21 is, is swollen pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and discontinue the charge uh, I really don't like to see them get that big. So let's go ahead and kill this charge. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look and see what our capacities are. Uh, and this is about the 10th charge discharge on this particular module. So you see 5006 with 6913, 5306 and still running uh, with, with a considerable amount of swelling. So, push start back again. We're at 6382. This is good enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and kill it and let her cool off. Okay. So, I have gone through all of the modules in both packs. Um, this one from eBay was considerably better than the one from my 06 uh, Prius, which I picked up dirt cheap. Uh, $1,000 just in case anybody's curious. Um, I've got one for $750, but it's really not running yet. So let's look here at some of the settings in the reactor chargers. As I mentioned previously, I, I like to cycle three times. And if three times, let me go right here to this one. Maybe it'll be easier to see. I like to cycle three times to begin to see what the battery is actually capable of. Um, if we cycle through the settings here, you'll see I've got that set to aut on automatic to charge discharge three cycles. Um, it is That's a forming charge which I've only used once. It really didn't seem to do a whole lot for the module. Uh, three amp current limit on uh, charge rate. On, on excuse me on automatic rate on manual charge is set for 5 amp discharge this one I had set down to 6.0 because this was a module that was acting up so I'm going to press this and set this back to 6.3 and then we're back there now when you go back to your settings for everything here uh, See, I put a wait time of three minutes to give the battery just enough time for it, especially on discharge. It gives it enough time to, to rebuild its its um, its base charge. It, it, it you'll see it float up by itself. Uh, let's see, on trickle charge mode, it'll do it at 10 milliamp. Delta B is set to default. Uh, let's see, safety timer 240 minutes. These batteries take a lot long, longer time to charge and discharge than most of the hobby batteries. So set this set this somewhere in that ballpark. But always leave it on so you don't end up with uh, a battery that explodes on you. This is another one that I mentioned earlier. The capacity cutoff is currently set to 7800. But again, I like to have this at 7500. 
unless you get a uh, battery that really needs it. Okay. And the beeps drive you nuts. Regenerative discharge is was something I'm going to get into a little later. And that's it okay so we'll go back to nickel metal hydride mode and start we, uh, we want to start to get a baseline on the battery run it three cycles run it three more if that doesn't bring it back to life most of mine went from being 1.5 amp up to 5.7 5.5 some even higher uh, I've got a couple on the ends, most especially, that are about 6.2, 6.3. Uh, these batteries originally rated at 6.5, so Panasonic makes makes one hell of a battery for 10 years later to still be at capacity. So um, that's about it. Uh, pretty much the same settings on the uh, Hobby King Quattro charger. I, I like it as well. Bought some longer leads off eBay. Uh, I had to change the cabling, uh, the little tiny wires that they sent. Uh, that's four millimeter, by the way, in case you're curious. Four millimeter banana jacks on both the reactors and the uh, the uh, Quattro, which is the Quattro is actually made by Turnigy. It comes with a Turnigy mantle. So, anyway, that's about it. I hope that helps helps you. Um, it's a long, painful process to do this. Start at one end, work your way through. Um, I like to stagger a little bit between charges. Um, like if battery 21, see how it's swelling up. I don't want to take battery 20 and be charging and discharging it at the same time. Uh, do something a little further away. Kind of, kind of move them around a little bit. Uh, keep a good log so you can see what modules are no good and which ones are good. Uh, and just so you know, battery 14 even though it had good voltage compared to the rest of this of this entire pack when we did a capacity test on it it checked out at 1.2 amps and when we tried to charge it it swole up like a balloon twice the size of what you see in 21 right there so 14 is a dead one it's got to come out and it'll get replaced so anyway hope this helps somebody uh, if you have any questions post below and i'll try to help you out take care goodbye